Hello and welcome. Welcome back um, to SQL Server Tutorial. Um, part 2, we're going to install SQL Server and make a quick uh, query of a table that's in already installed. Um, installing SQL Server isn't too difficult, but it is a little complex. Um, SQL Server can be downloaded from the internet. I strongly suggest you use the Microsoft uh, web web page, the Microsoft uh, site. Uh, you can see it has the Microsoft brand on it. Um, there are other mirror sites which might try and sell you things. Some of them uh, have sponsored ads up front. Um, they may try and take your identity. Um, Microsoft site is the authoritative one. Um, SQL Server comes in many different flavors. You want the Express Edition, which is free. Uh, you don't want to ever need, you don't want to ever have to buy it. Express exit, Express Edition does not expire, um, and it doesn't take a huge amount of room on your system. I don't even think it requires you to register. Um, I forget, but um, you know, if you're registering with Microsoft, your identity is safe, and they probably already have your identity. So collect, select the Express Edition. Um, it will download pretty easily. Um, for some reason, I'm not allowed to screenshot uh, download um, pictures, images. It doesn't really matter. As you'll see, it downloads, and um, you uh, go to the download folder and hit um, run uh, for the download and it will fire it right up. After it's installed, the, um, you'll get this word that installation is completed successfully. You want to try and save um, the data that's given here, connection string, server log folder. You might have to cut and paste it. Um, just place it somewhere safe in a uh, file on your um, desktop um, so that in case your connection gets lost, you know, know exactly where to uh, get your database. Um, and of course, the connection strings may be longer than what you see in the field. Don't do a screenshot. Cut and paste the actual text because it's longer than what you see here on the screen. Um, important to remember is you operate SQL Server through the Management Studio, not um, directly. The SQL Server Management Studio is a graphic user interface, um, and uh, plain SQL Server is command line. And it's very, very difficult for a beginner to know. I've never really used it. Um, you download and install SQL Server Management Studio separately, um, but if you're using the Microsoft site, it almost immediately prompts you to download it directly um, so that you don't have to go hunting for it. Um, and uh, it will prompt you to download and install it. So once you've downloaded the two download files, all you need to do is click on them in the downloads folder and they will install. Uh, just like with SQL Server, you download and um, hit install uh, from the, fo the executable folder and the de executable file in the download folder. Um, and it will um, give you a setup completed window. And so now, um, now that you have SQL Server downloaded and installed, uh, shut down and restart your machine, and we'll do a quick tour of SQL Server. Um, you want to open up SQL Server Management Studio, which is in a separate folder from SQL Server proper. Um, it's in the SQL Server Tools folder. Um, 
inside SQL Server Ser Tools is SQL Server Management Studio. Click on it and it will uh, give you a login screen. You shouldn't really need to have a password. Uh, the system installs it by default without a password. Um, later on when you become security conscious and running real tables you'll want to create a password but that's above our uh, level right now. So you just connect. You By hitting connect your SQL Server Management Studio is already open but you need to connect to the database which is virtual. Uh, later on you'll have off-site servers um, on the cloud somewhere or on a remote server where your data is safe. You don't really want to keep it in one local computer because um, it could get lost and very it's impossible to rebuild uh, unless you have a backup somewhere. Um, so you really want to have a remote server once you become uh, once you start working with real data. But here we're just hitting connect to connect to a virtual server. Um, and this is the default um, screen for after firing up SQL Server Management Studio. Um, you'll have the main frame um, with the main commands. You'll have an object to score on the left which will give you the databases from which you select uh, objects to query. Um, you'll see to the left here you see a databases um, folder and inside you'll see more data uh, you'll the, the databases you create or download will live in there. A few controls you need to know when using SQL Server are uh, the new query button which will open a new query window which is this new white um, uh, data entry field over to the right, this little text editor which has a, which has opened up. Uh, and then you're going to type your queries in this uh, text editor on the right and then you're going to hit the execute button uh, and that will uh, bring up the table you want. So again you hit the new query button to open a new text editor uh, also known as a query field. Um, and then the execute button after you've typed in your query. You can, because they're tabbed, you'll have several uh, query windows open at once, and you can save them um, individually if there are queries you want to uh, continue to use. Queries can get very large and complex. You'll want to save them. Uh, you might also want to save the uh, Queries, the um, queries you use to create tables uh, and insert into tables so that you know that have a good sense of the architecture of the table uh, from how it was built. Um, and so let's select, um, we'll select a table that's built into SQL Server and just make a quick query. Um, so we've opened the system databases folder in the Object Explorer. Uh, we have a database called Master and we keep opening the file tree till we get to Tables, then System Tables, and then finally we get to the level where we have actual tables listed and you'll see they'll have little table icons and names for each one. So if we want to query one of these tables we type Select uh, and uh, some a command word and then the name of the table and it will bring up the table or a portion of it uh, if you've limited the scope of your query. All these tables here are actually tables of data about SQL Server so there's not anything interesting in them um, but they can be tarry, they can be queried just like any other tables and we can see what it looks like. Um, so the query we write in the text editor in the new query window is select asterisk uh, from and then the name of the table. Select asterisk will bring up an entire table. Um, as a, you can limit, you can change the asterisk 
to some kind of characteristic of the table so that it will bring up only a portion of the table. But in this case, we're just going to do select asterisk. And when you type in select asterisk from, um, Microsoft has a service called IntelliSense, which will bring up uh, all the potential tables you could query, depending on what database you're in, um, depending on which uh, you know tables, uh, which group of tables you've selected. Um, it'll bring up a, a list of tables. In this case, we wanted to query uh, the table um, MS replication options. So we just typed in select asterisk from MSRE IntelliSense completes the table name and um, hit enter and it will bring up the table um, after you hit the execute button. You have to hit the execute button to run the query. And so as you see we have select from MS replication options, execute and up comes a table in the results window below. And let's look closely at the um, table. As you can see, it's just data about um, it's data about the database. Very boring. Doesn't make any doesn't make any sense. Um, but you know, but this is data about how the database system is working. Uh, and all tables will look exactly like this. Um, there are no uh, um, tables like, uh, you know, it's just a quick way for you to view exactly what a table looks like. Once you create tables, you can put anything in them and they'll look exactly like this, just as you expect with columns and rows and data in each cell. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to install SQL Server. Um, what you've done is downloaded Server and Management Studio and installed them. You've connected to Management Studio um, and a virtual that you've opened Management Studio and connected to a virtual database. Um, then you located tables in the uh, table directory um, and then you open a new query window, query the database and brought up a table as a result. Um, and it's very simple. We'll, you know, um, I hope I didn't go too fast on this, but um, it's not, you know, only a few controls you really need to know. You need to know where the table, you need to know the name of the table you're querying. Uh, you do that by looking up in the file tree. Um, and you know how to, you want to open a new query, uh, type in the query and hit execute and you'll have a table. So thank you for um, watching, and uh, we hope you continue. Um, next time we'll create a new database and a couple of new tables. We'll insert data into them and query them so that you have a full sense of how a, a database is created. Many times um, they don't bother showing you how to create a new table, create a new database, because there are so many databases out there to query. but um, I've decided that I want to show you exactly how to build little tables because they're much easier to use and, um, you know, they're very small, but they do all the things necessary without being too elaborate. Thank you.